banquet. And that wasn't some fancy metaphor, but a simple statement of fact. The overwhelming surge of goat troops came in like a tsunami. The residents of the Golden Land who stood defiantly were like a forgotten sandcastle on a beach. A fight between a wave and a sandcastle is not a fight. For the voracious, merciless goats now storming the food at a standing buffet, this was a feast. Nah. Okay guys, I've landed a hit on Erika, but I think I may have angered her a little too much with that one, so be careful. Let there be blood! All those who could use magic fired it off at once. With a shout like a thunderclap, the goat tsunami rushed forward. Everything collided at once, and there was a brilliant and terrible explosion. Sparks and smoke, flying splinters and screams. For just an instant, the fierce magical cannonballs fired by Dato, Virgilia, and the Chister sisters seemed to hold the Goat Tsunami in its tracks. However, their numbers were so great that they didn't even flinch. The Goat Wave pressed forward over the corpses of those who had been blasted away or fallen to their knees in weariness. The mound of corpses piled up. And still more goats were shot down as they tried to cross it. So that before long, he really was tall enough to be a tsunami. Oh! The towers! Battle lifted her hands, telling the pair of battle towers that had been hidden deep in the ground that the day of glory had come again. The goat tsunami looked up at him, shock. After all, this time the tsunami that towered over everything. Wasn't them? Thunderstorm of rapid fire ballista rounds rained down from the battle tower gun ports. The goats let out a confused scream at the furious tempest that was bearing down on them. However, they saw something else too. Oh! Hell yeah! Smothered mate! In the sky high above the tower was a reaper astride the divine horse and back dropped by the moon with a massive spear the size of a tower in its hand. The next words came not from the reaper but from the great witch seated behind it. Okay. The heavenly spear pierced the ground. For an instant, it looked like some divine tower was sticking out of the ground. However, that was the very last thing those eyes ever saw. Man, you know, I keep hearing about the Yumineko fighting game, but imagine like a Dynasty Warriors type game where you can play as any character and fight against armies of goats. I can easily imagine that. And the Sacred Sphere was the embodiment of Heaven's Wrath, and the strength to bury an unhallowed city in a single stroke was unleashed upon the pack of goats. With a massive explosion that resembled a volcanic eruption, goats were sent flying all over the place. 
やるわねさすが魔女だわでもどうかな敵はまだまだ来るわやっぱり飲み込まれるのは私たちなのよ西ちゃんあんたたちは楽しそうだわうわはははは祭りは楽しまねば損ということだどうやら我らの出番がなくなるということはなさそうだぞ。Yeah, come on, Kenzo. Transform yourself into, into a dragon yet again. みてえだな。燃えてきたぜ。Yes. The crowd of goats truly was like a wave pressing in from the sea. You might be able to split a ripple on the beach with your feet, but you cannot split the sea. However, witches are those who do. Which is are those who do so nonetheless. Of course, that meant the other side also had one could. Of course, that meant the other side also had one who could split apart the sea. Suddenly, smoke poured from one of the two bell tops, and it began to crumble, shaking the ground as it collapsed. Oh my god. Alright. For sure, she's gonna be the main enemy that will cause the most chaos. Like, if she continues, she could thwart like, any powerful attacks that we throw at goats, so. Yeah. On top of the other battle tower, Erika stood grief wielding her scythe. これで黄金鏡の魔女たちへの敬意は十分でしょう。魔法などすべて燃やかし、ミステリーに飲み込まれて必ず消える。ファンタジーの砂の城。楽しかったですよ。魔法ごっこ。なんだか幼かった頃、
今こそ真実にて黄金鏡を解体する土は土に幻は幻に終わらせてあげますよあんたたちの白昼夢 Come on That's Will's line You gotta be kidding me さあさあ思い出してごらんなさい亡霊たち本当はもうとっくに死んでるんだってこと Go Tsunami swallowed everything up. When she saw them sink under the black sea of goats, and it got guffawed from atop the debris of the tower. So, Korose, Korose, Minagoroshi ni nasai! Zain no kubi o kiri o to ste yari ni tsuki sa ste. Kakage nasai! Dogo to shinjitsu no uzu ni nomi komare te. As if. If I had indeed broken the magic circle around the key beforehand, by the time Bella and Nanji reached it. Was crumbling like the sand in an hourglass. They tried punching and kicking it to make it break faster, but nothing they did hastened the process. Daibu mai ni kuwashite kureta mitai dakedo. Sore demo mada jikan o kake sou da wa. Tabu, ato skoshi nanda. Osaraku, ato gofun mo kasegereba. Judging by the speed the magic circles were crumbling and the general appearance of the whole scene, it looked like it would be over soon. However, as things stood, even if it was just five more minutes, would that be soon enough? We will make it soon enough. We have to. They turned around. Beyond the bookshelf ravine was the universe. Even for Beller, who had seen Beltos fights many times over, the battle between Lambda Delta and Der Castel was so mind-defined that he couldn't think of a single word to describe it. When he finally managed to find a word, it was... a universe. With each development and battle between Lambda Delta and Der Castel, the universe was created between the pair of them. The Big Bang took place. The universe was created. Galaxies beyond number were born and erased. Born and erased. Then, just when it seemed that a big crunch had occurred, and the universe had met its demise, there was another Big Bang, and another universe was created. Whoa. Okay. We know that Lambda Delta and Ben Castell, they are... They are in a different league, as Voyager witches and all, but... Now I get to witness them at their fullest in terms of power. Jesus. It was like watching gods playing. The two witches created and destroyed worlds over and over again. Almost as though two creators were, for were fighting to prove that the universe was the right one. <laughs> like, uh, I was thinking all sorts of scenarios. Like, they use explosive candies, giant green whales, black holes. Like, what else can they do? Like... Ben Castell does blast waves. Lambda Delta does, like, destructo discs. They start punching each other. Like, uh, Lambda can do, like, the equivalent of the serious punch against Boros. From Season 1 of One Punch Man. What else? Uh... Ah, yeah, like uh, the big cookie monster thing that I mentioned previously. That too. But this. <laughs> if you let your guard down in the slightest, and just watching this would steal your soul. Then just watching this would steal your soul. That's how it felt. Ninja, I'll get the keys. 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 I'll get the keys
ラムダデルタを放っておけないあの戦いの中に飛び込むってのだが放っておけねえだろ二人の戦いは確かに常軌を逸してるだが完全に拮抗してて互角なんだ<笑>ってことはな俺みたいな人間風情一人の火星でも何かを崩せるかもしれない A perfect balance maintained by two great powers can easily break by adding even a little strength to one side However, actually rushing in there to add that little bit of strength would be literally suicidal Would, would be literally suicidal like a moth flying into a furnace you might burn up before it even reaches it これはお前の戦いなんだだからお前は戦えみんなと一緒に死ねなかったことを悔やみながらその気持ちに打ち勝って未来を生きるんだそれをお前は決意したはずだ<笑> Angie had no words to respond with Her brother and everyone else will probably die So She wanted to die in the same place in the same time as everyone else. However, that would not be permitted. And she knew she mustn't wish for it. Indeed. We gotta fight for a better future. For your future, Angie. Stay strong and keep it in check, goddammit. She already made up her mind. She had sworn to live in the future without turning back to look at everyone's deaths. Hell, you know, chaos is at its highest here. Lambda Delta is fighting Bernka still. The family and the fantasy creatures, they are fighting the army of goats and Erika. Like, this is peak chaos in Yumineko. But, like, from a different perspective, this is the equivalent of Yumineko's main ending, like, like its main conflict, where... A young girl is fighting in her mind between killing herself or continuing to live. Hell, one can argue that she truly died before and she ends up in the Golden Land with everyone. And all of this, like after, is just a bunch of what ifs and all, but no! She still got a chance. Cannot end here. Suicide is not the option. オーゴン教に帰ったらベアトに鍵を見せろするとベアトはお前の前に二つの扉を示すそしてお前に簡単な謎かけをしその2つの扉片方はお前を未来へ導く お前を未来へ導く大丈夫だ今のお前なら絶対に間違えないそしてそれをくぐったら扉が閉まるまで後ろを振り返るなどうして振り返っちゃいけないの扉が閉まれば俺たちの運命はもうお前には分からないつまり
俺たちの決着を観測させずに未来に送り出せれば俺たちには勝機があるってことだだがお前がいつまでも俺たちを見ていたらお前は俺たちが全滅するところを見ちまうそうなりゃ 100% の敗北が確定だだからお前は俺たちに勝利の奇跡を与えるためにも扉をくぐったら決して振り返っちゃいけないいいなうんだから俺はラムダデルタを助けに行くのさその俺の勇姿を見送って黄金鏡に帰ればそれがお前の中での俺の最後の姿になるお兄ちゃんたちの勝敗は猫箱に閉ざされるだから絶対に負けないそういうことだだから振り返るなもうじき鍵が手に入る一目散で黄金鏡に帰るんだだから今のうちに手短に未来のお前に俺からメッセージを送るいいか忘れるなよよく心に刻んどけよ、うんうん、いついかなる時もな生きる希望を捨てるんじゃねえぜ俺たちはいつだってみんなお前の後ろにいるんだお前が信じてさえくれりゃ声だってかけられるんだいいな信じろ奇跡はな信じれば絶対に叶うからはい。The magic circle still in the key still needed several minutes to dissolve. Mada, Iru? Watashi no itoshi, Lamuda Delta. All that came into sight was Ben Castell. There was no answering voice from Lana Delta. If this was a sign of Ben Castell's victory, It didn't cause her expression to grow any brighter. Zanneyo, Lamuda, Anata to Nara, Futari de Uchu ga kizukeru to omotte ta nani. Zanneyo, Honto ni zanneyo. And Merka still was still focusing all her nerves on the battle. So, she took no notice of Bella or Nanji by the key. However, she probably un. She'll probably notice soon. And then there will be nowhere to run. Okay, I. I don't know about that one. Like, it ended too abruptly for me to think that that was it. Lambda surely must be somewhere. The last circle of the magic circle was starting to fade away. However, almost cruelly, the final circle went slower than the rest. Seeing that, and he hopes that it would dissolve in any minute. Or maybe a few dozen seconds. But crushed absolutely. Better ready himself. Ore ja. Ah, wa ikane da ro na. Kondo wa ore no deban no yoda ze. Onii-chan. Erai zo. Enji. Yoku tome na katta. With tears still pouring down her face, Enji lovingly rubbed her cheek against the hand that had been patting her hand. また子猫たちを集めなきゃバトラも一緒にいると思ってたのにその姿がないのはおかしいわあんなやつ一人でも残しておけば靴に入り込んだ小石程度には厄介だものね In the smoke clear completely and I saw a huge cloud of candidates floating around like it was Lambda Delta's corpse A star shaped cookie bounced off of Encastor's head He was missing one of its points, giving it a lonely feeling. Lambda Delta, 
私と共に生きなさい私の中であなたは私と一つの宇宙になるの<笑> Ben Castell chewed a cookie and swallowed it. これで私たちは永遠に一緒よ愛してるわラムダ私もよベルン Yeah, there you go. Ben Castell's stomach suddenly swelled like a balloon. Oh, oh Christ. Oh, God. The bulge rose from her stomach to her throat, then exploded like a firework from her mouth. Oh, good lord. <laughs> The imagery. Although I was thinking of something much worse for a split second, Ben Castell coughed up fireworks, sparks, and fragments of candy. Then I saw it kept coughing and spitting up exploding fireworks. The breath of a small universe from that sweet had hit her directly from the inside of her stomach. Well, let's just hope that her mouth is the only exit point for candies and fireworks. Nah, scratch that. <laughs> the other exit point would be hilarious to see too. Just farting candies and fireworks. Even Brinka still couldn't withstand that. Like, like, the force of those candies and fireworks would be so huge that Ben Castell would just、uh, start flying around. Like, like, and she just, <laughs> she just hits the bookshelf. Like, head on. Wait, wait, hold on a second. What was that? And she repeatedly vomited fireworks so violently that it seemed her guts would spill out. Her body flickered in and out of existence. And she glared at Lambda Delta with a terrifying expression. Her body was flickering because she had taken so much da damage that even maintaining her form was not difficult. そうね、私、釣った魚に餌はあげないたちだもの。知ってるわ。だからベルンは美しく輝くのよ。思わせぶりな仕草を見せるのに決して誰にもこびることはない気高い猫の女王のようにあんたを段ボールに変えて側面揃えて私の爪研ぎにしてあげるわあんたこそ三味線にして一回引いたら飽きて押し入れに入れて埃りを積もらせてあげるわよゴツナミはすぐに死ぬことができる。スプレーは死ぬことができる。ナリフスは死ぬことができる。スプレーは死ぬことができる。The Seven Sisters of Purgatory and Inquisitors specialized at close range combat and were rapidly building a mountain of corpses. The witches fought hard too, but they would have preferred to fight at a distance that they could. And just relying on fantasy creatures wouldn't be enough. In these battle conditions, all the humans were thrust right into the center of the fight. Everyone in the Ushumia family displayed a fighting spirit equal to the witches and guarded their backs. 
even humans are not part of us. We have guns. Guns! Lots of guns. If the goats support a fantasy, they could use these as the ultimate anti-magic weapons. Yeah, true. Just like before, if goats are going for an anti-fantasy uh, type theory, these are the perfect humans for you. If the goats support a mystery, they could use these in a much more obvious way. Those .45 long cold bullets delivered fatal wounds to each and every goat they struck. <laughs> you know, maybe it's a... Actually, I don't know if I should talk about that right now. Nonetheless, like, Erika's voice actors, phew, like in Japanese. Erika's razor sharp scythe buried itself in Kinzo's chest. It looked struck into his heart. But the daring smile on Kinzo's face didn't even falter. Ooh. A punch containing all of Kinzo's last spark of life sent Erika flying. Yeah. You know, Kinzo is indestructible. Have you seen how many times we've seen... Like, have you seen how many times he died? He is still kicking. He had so many heartburns in his life. You have, like, no idea. Oh. Yeah. As Erika tried to deliver the finishing blow, Kraus stepped in between them. Blocking the way. おや、無能投資家の大先生ではございませんか。よくもまあ、儲からない話ばかりを見つけて散財なさるものです。失礼。靴紐が溶けてはいないか。ん? Erika tried to look down at her own feet, but what she saw was Krauss's left fist. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, hmm. Krauss's left uppercut made Erika float in the air. Not by magic, but by the simple laws of physics. For an instant, Erika saw the moon. Oh, the moon! <laughs> Yeah, get all the power of the boxing that you've had, like all these years. Get the power of the moon! Oh, endless verf! Yeah, there you go. Okay, that still that still uh, makes me question like really Erika? You're looking at your shoes to Does she even does she even have like uh, shoes to tie or hold on let me let me check something over here. Well, actually I I cannot. I'm only on my computer, I would have to pause uh, like the computer in order to check her sprites, but whatever. Okay, 
友達みんなが署名するお前らの勝手な想像で私たちの中を勝手に決めつけるんじゃねえぜへえりゴー Jessica's body blow made the goat's massive body cave in. Oh, Migoto de Sojo Sama. Kono Yona Kuchi, Yok Soreda Kino Chikarao. Okay, this just occurred to me. That, <laughs> that comes from her father. How come I didn't put two and two together? Like, uh, with Krause's uh, past as a, as a boxer and Erika's fighting style. How come I didn't. So, yes, so does it. That the other she must see them or eke out to watch it. Yeah, you know, that's another evidence that、uh, I still have long ways until completing Yumineko like a hundred percent in my eyes. There are still details that、uh, we'll have to that I will have to find out. Jessica gave the embarrassed grin. She looked even more relaxed than she had on the stage at the school festival. Yeah. The massive bodies that rushed at them, trying to deny their relationship and their very existence. Had two choices to be sliced or struck. Each time one of those bodies hit the ground, it became proof that the two of them existed. Alright, we have Georgian、uh, Shannon Stern. Log sized fist buried itself in George's face. They were in the middle of a tightly packed melee. There was no way to dodge an unexpected attack like that. <laughs> George had indeed been hit with a fist right to the center of his face. However, he didn't bend over backwards. Not even an inch. But he would start to worry. What exactly had he hit? He punched a human made of flesh? Well, you did hit flesh, it's just that it's not in the face region. It was as though he had stamped his fist into a steel wall. It was his fist that was hurting. Oh! However, the goat was too scared to move his fist from George's face. After all, if he did, the expression on that face would probably be terrifying. George's hand. Knock that fist away! <laughs> George was only grabbing the goat's massive fist in a tiny hand. However, that fist was being crushed as though it had a vice around it. Even though the other hand was so tiny, the goat couldn't even move its fist. I accepted the fact that someone as pathetic as me would be bullied. Daga! Oh! So now, Bokuni! Mika, that's the credit of Stoyo! Alright. Alright. The goat's broken teeth flew through the air. George's legs split the heavens.
Alright, just drop down already. Yeah, well, it's filthy finger touch on his back. Thing exploded and boiled away. A blazing red light charred the goat's entire body. Shana slowly turned around, her face full of rage and contempt. Oh! I was an absolute barrier rose up around that shano, incinerating the goats around her with its intense heat. So, <laughs> Maria grinned, showing her teeth, and performed her job without even looking at her hands. Then, she gave the fully loaded rifle a rough toss up in the air. Then, she gave the fully loaded rifle a rough toss. She gave the fully loaded rifle a rough toss up in the air. Okay, there you go. Rosa, who stood back to back with Maria, caught it without turning around. No, that wasn't quite it. Maria's throw had landed a gun directly into Rosa's already outstretched hand in a precise blind exchange. Ooh, nice. Rosa's head was pointed at the ground, and she struck the frigid trigger with her index finger. <laughs> The crowd of goats, cowed by Rosa's ferocity, dare not approach. It appeared that the unfeeling the taste of metal in her mouth. Oh! For a moment, she couldn't make sense of her new sensation. Sensation? Situation! Fuck! Was that cold feeling on her back? The ground? Huh? Why am I lying down? Wasn't the moon full? Why isn't it now? Come to think of it, my teeth hurt. There's something cold and hard. And she figured it out. She was lying sprawled on the ground, with a gun barrel shoved into her mouth. And the thing splitting the full moon is the angry king of wolves protecting its child. Oh! The gun barrel exploded inside her mouth. Sharing her medulla oblongata. It was only a her after image. Oh, escaped death at the last moment by living an after image. Erika was confronted at her new location by the glint of metal, which had been there even before she reappeared. The fountain pen went. <laughs> Oh my god! The fountain pen right went right through Erika's eye, crushing it! Oh my god. Of course, that was another after image. Ah, you better have like an infinite uh, supply of after images there, Erika. Otherwise, oh, that's like the second time you would be dead. Like, straight. However, when Erika. Or you would have lost an eye and would have had like an eye patch, you know, complete the whole pirate set. You would need like a parrot and 
yeah, you do need to cut your leg as well, which could very well happen if you anger Ben Castell long enough. When the guy escaped and reappeared somewhere else, a heel was already there waiting for her. Oh, from the goat's perspective. Several after images of Erika seem to have appeared at once, and all been taken out simultaneously by Rosa. God damn you and your instant transmission! Get the fuck here! <laughs> yeah, indeed. Alright, 